Justice Good here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to design your own stencil in Photoshop and spray paint it in. So as you can see here the final result looks something like so. I'm just going to use a default cardboard picture as the background. You could use a picture of a white wall or any type of background image you want. So first I'm going to go to my custom shape tool and just use a preset Photoshop shape. As you can see here, Photoshop has lots of presets. You can also use your own shape if you want to create one. I have a tutorial on creating shapes if you want to check it out on my channel. So while holding Shift and Alt, I'm going to drag out my shape and Command T I will use to transform it to a size that I like. I'll grab my pointer tool and position it and if I want to give it a little bit of a rotation, I'll hit Command T and turn the corners a bit to rotate it like a stencil. So once you have your shape in place and filled in, hold command and click on the shape layer and that should make a selection of your entire shape. And then go to layer, new layer and grab your rectangular marquee tool, right click on your shape and select inverse. At this point you can hide your shape layer because we don't need it anymore. Now we can begin filling in our outline that we've created. So grab your brush tool and we're going to use a large and soft brush, hardness at 0%. And you want your brush to be about 3 fourths of the size of your shape. So I'm going to use 470 as the size of my brush. And turn the opacity to about 50% and blending mode of normal. And just start circling in and stenciling in your shape. Try to use different amounts of clicks in different areas so you don't so you get an uneven stencil like uh, filling of your shape. You can even adjust the hardness of your brush, uh, brush a little bit to get different hardnesses and opacities around your image. As you can see here I'm filling in the corners a little bit differently with a smaller brush to add a little bit of variation. Next set the blending mode of the same brush to dissolve and set the size to a large amount such as your original 400 or whatever works for your shape and just circle around your image as you can see that adds a nice grainy texture to your paint once you're happy with the amount of stenciling you've done you can just deselect with command D or right click deselect and now we can begin adding some finishing touches. So grab your blur tool and set the strength to about 80%. And all you want to do is just blur some of the corners and edges. Because in a real stencil, none of these edges would be perfect and some of the paint would bleed. So what this is doing is replicating the effect of the paint bleeding onto the cardboard. So as you can see here, I'm just clicking around, blurring here and there, a little bit of the corners. You don't want to blur the entire thing. And then head over to your smudge tool so we can add some paint drips. Use a hard, small brush at about 80% strength and keep the settings like I have here. And just click on some of your edges and drag down and as you should see it should pull some of the paint with it. You don't want to use too large of a brush or else you'll just create a big smudgy mess. So once you've added a few at 5 pixels turn your brush up to about 10 pixels and add a couple different ones so that we have different sized paint drips. Just a few here and there you don't want the entire thing to be dripping. Let's add a few on the bottom edges here. Also make sure you're not smudging upwards because that's not how paint drips. And you know you can even go with a two pixel brush. Just use different variations of brushes. You don't want it all to be the same. And once you're happy with the amount of finishing touches you've done here, you can then adjust the positioning of this layer or the rotation or size of this layer 
and you can also do things like change the color or blending mode. So I'm just going to experiment with a few different blending modes here. You know, color burn, multiply. This will all be different depending on what color paint you used. Overlay, all different effects that you could use in their own way. But I'm just going to keep it at normal for now. And if you want to adjust the color, go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation, select Colorize, and you can play around with the hue and saturation and lightness of the paint. So you can get a red paint like so, or you could even get a, a blue paint, really whatever you want to use. So be creative and the rest is up to you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. And also leave me a suggestion down below for something you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.